Welcome, my peace, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It will be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peace, my peoples. So Drake has responded to the black face photo. And this is his response. Was not from a clothing brand shoe or my music career. This picture is from 2007, a time in my life where I was an actor and I was working on a project that was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. The photo represents how African Americans were once wrongfully portrayed and entertainment. Me and my best friend, you know, they got together and they, um, wanted to do this documentary to show what was going on and the entertainment business. And they also said to bring, we were attempting to use our voices to bring awareness to the issues we dealt with all the time as black actors at auditions. This was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in the industry and to make a point that the struggle the struggle for you know i guess acceptance the struggle for real that's where it cuts off at <laughs> so what are these guys thoughts what are your opinion on it so drake has responded he replied to the blackface photo because um people have been making a mockery it's been like a circus coming after drake and his black i mean like you have to see the memes on instagram people acting like their kids are kidnapped as their kids are locked in cages and letting them come out parents coming from under the women coming from under the bed is okay for me to show myself now like this and um drake in the black face is just all over the place and um he, it is a real big circus and it's almost seeming like you know drake is responding like meek respond in a text <laughs> so but moving forward how do you guys feel about you know drake's response that he said it was to bring awareness to to the issue in hollywood the stereotype and the typecast um I totally get it. I totally understand it. I just want to know if this project actually went through. Is there actually a documentary? Is there actually like a movie? Is there something that we can watch so we can see the whole thing so we can have a greater understanding and also know if this is true? And the next thing is, um, no matter what, I would not get into blackface to prove a point or to show a stereotype or to show the struggles of my ancestors or the struggles I'm having now. There's no reason for me to get into blackface. Like I can speak, I can act, I can sing, I can dance, I can do whatever to let you know, you know, the struggles and issues that we face, but actually painting my face with black paint and all that other stuff. And then to put it out there, I, I think is, I still don't think there's never a good reason, no matter what, how Drake would have respond to the blackface photo is still not a good answer. It's still not a good response. It's still not a good re um, reply to anything because there's no reason why anybody should do that. And then on top of that, you know, Drake being biracial, you know, that takes the issue too as well because people are saying, oh, well, he could do that because his ancestors did it. So it's up to you how you take it. You know, especially today and age, you see so many different people that are indigenous African Americans or people with melanin in their skin or melanated, um, do some coonery stuff and they do some questionable stuff. And you see people flip all the time, just like you seen Kanye West flip. You see so many different people flip and turn their back on a black community, the African American community, or they try to distance themselves from the community, period. I'm not saying Drake is doing that at all, but I'm just saying that's nothing that he could have said that would have satisfied me as a person. Just my opinion, because there's no reason anybody should get into blackface. I don't, it, there's no awareness you need to bring that you can't bring any other way, any other type of way other than getting into blackface, especially the history of blackface, especially how it hurt the mockery where you see this on TV. Um, African Americans that did was able to afford TV or worked inside the slave master's house, watch these people dressed in blackface. And just the hurt and the pain that it did to our ancestors. And then to get into blackface, smile and shit, nah. 
there's there's no good response to it and then you also have to think about character is this actually true is this actually real because now we allegedly drake is hiding his kid and like if you check out instagram or you go on twitter the memes are crazy it's like a circus um like that's why drake has to respond in this way because there's a circus out there you have family members and families hiding their kids and be like oh come out the box you know the wife saying can i show myself it's like the memes are ridiculous it's really a circus out here especially with that and then also with the blackface it's just like you know um it's it's just uh, i don't know man it's just it's not cool it's just I, there's no there's no response that he could have said if he told me somebody put a gun to his head and that's why he did blackface or somebody was going to take somebody out with his family or they was going to blow up his house or something like that then i can understand why you're in blackface but just to bring awareness to how we're being treated right now there are people out and you know will smith his wife and tons of other actors are trying to bring awareness to as well and they didn't get into blackface so to me there's no excuse especially the history and the pain um, that blackface come from, especially from the Jim Crow. It's all in the slideshow. Hopefully, it's big enough for you guys to see, so you can understand that it's putting on blackface. It's real deep. I mean that. Mm -mm. Peace. I'm out. One love.